Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Tops Stadium Club Baseball. Four box, random team break number three. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. Dustin grabbing the last chunk of spots to help fill up this break. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. There are the combo teams right there. And we also took out some teams, Pirates, Rays, Rangers, and Rockies. At the end of the break, I'll do a randomizer to see who gets... Uh, any of those cards if we pull any we actually just threw them out of the break because there weren't really any big hits there but in case we get like a insert or a parallel or something like that all those will go to one person and now for breaks one two three and four i've told the shipping team to ship all of the cards after that it'll be the whole no vet base ships thing um it's just because i think it might be easier for us to sort everything instead of trying to find all the all the variations and parallels and whatnot all right so Let's roll the dice for both lists. Four and a three. Lucky seven times for the names and the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. After seven times, we got Dustin's down to Christopher Rodriguez. Let's get the names right here. And four and a three. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Four and a three. We got the Mariners Blue Jays combo on top and the Cubbies on the bottom. All right. So, Dustin, you have the Toronto Blue Jays and Seattle Mariners combo. Aren't they playing each other tonight? I thought they were for some reason, which would be kind of interesting. No, it was Tigers and never mind. You got the Yankees, Dustin. You got the Mets, Diamondbacks, and Red Sox. TJ Poyer with the Indians and White Sox. Dustin Hughes, last spot mojo. Nationals, TJP with the Tigers and Padres. Josh, you have the Brewers and Twins. Dustin with the Angels, Royals, Reds, and A's. TJP with the O's. Tony Ellis, you got my Dodgers. I'm wearing my Dodgers hat right Yeah. Josh, you got the Giants. Dustin with the Cardinals. Chris with the Phillies. Tony with the Braves. Gavin with the Astros. Dustin with the Marlins. And Chris with the Cubs. Gavin's asking if we've seen the case hit yet. I don't know what it would look like. <laughs> what does it look like? Maybe? All right. So there you go. Four box break. Two on-card autographs. In every box, on average. We've actually seen one above average box, which was great. Baseball. Trades. Any trades? Does not look like there's going to be any trades. All right, TWC, trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. All right, good luck, everybody. So that list you saw on the previous screen is now officially printed out and remains the same. No changes, no trades. All right, good luck, everybody. Scores on a Friday night. Braves over the Cardinals in St. Louis, 5-1. to one. Rangers beating up on the White Sox, 11-3. I think there was a position player that was pitching for the White Sox, which I thought was cool. Um, Miami beat the Mets in Miami, 8-2. to two. In Tampa Bay, the Rays edging out the Astros, 3-2. to two. In Cincinnati, Brewers beating the Reds, 8-2. to two. In Toronto, 3-2. to two. Blue Jays over the Tigers. And the Nationals exploding for 17 runs in Philadelphia. 17-7 over the Phillies. That game must have taken forever. Uh, Yankees putting the hurt on the Red Sox, 8-1. Angels over the uh, O's in Baltimore, 7-1. Cubbies over the Twins in Chicagoland, 10-6. Jose Barrios, I think, melting down like the fifth inning or something like that. And we've got a bunch of games in progress, which we'll get to in the next box.
Wow, Gavin saying that the Nationals and Phillies had 10 combined home runs. That's crazy. How long did that game take? What, what was the uh, <laughs> what was the time on that? 17 to 10 or 17-7? That's a lot of runs. That's a lot of time. All right, so we'll breeze through these. We'll set these aside. Obviously, insert. Well, everything ships. So in case I miss something important, it'll still get to you. I know those black foils are a little more short printed. And obviously, we've got Tim LoCastro. There you go. A little Dodger Joe Mojo for Tony Ellis. There it is. TJ, TJ in the chat, Tom Jones may know that may, may know that guy. Red Hunter Renfro. We got more baseball coming up after this, folks. Museum collection baseball just filled up. So we'll be doing that right after this. A lot of great photography in this set. Like the, and, and for the old school guys, it seems like a lot of photos that we have not seen before. Nice Francisco Mejia. Nice Mejia for the tribe. That's TJ Poyer with that one. A couple TJs here. Nice. Catching prospect. Top catching prospect for the, uh, for the Indians, of course. Nice Otani Dream Team insert. We'll set those aside. Those are importante for the Angels. Nice. I'm sure I still carry some good value. He may be coming back just to hit, which is which is good. He can still hit along with that guy, Mike Trout. If you think about how many bases Ricky Henderson stole, like it might be difficult to wrap your head around just how incredible he was and how efficient he was stealing bases. Set those right there. All right, next one. Games in progress in the bottom of the seventh. My Dodgers still down a run in L.A. to the Rockies. Dodgers could still come back on that. The Mariners leading in Seattle, leading the Royals three to nothing. Pirates currently shutting out the Padres in San Diego, six to nothing. At the end of the sixth. The A's with a narrow two nothing lead over the Indians, and the Giants leading the Diamondbacks in the desert. Through eight, and I know you, I'm sure I'm sure everybody is wondering, Joe, how are your picks of the day doing? You, you do baseball picks of the day. Your picks doing? I'm glad you asked, folks. Uh, lost the Detroit game at plus one sixty two. Got the Milwaukee game minus one ten. Got the Tampa Bay Rays plus one fifty nine. Looks like I'm doing okay so far, tentatively with the A's plus one forty five. And I think the Dodgers could still come back. I got I got them too at minus one fifty six. For entertainment purposes only, of course, just for fun. Do not tail do not tail my picks. Tail at your own risk. I'm a case breaker, not a sharp. Alright, here we go. Or a tout. Although I touted a little bit there. JP Crawford Red. Kyle Seeger, Black Foil. There's a John Smoltz red. And we've got Justin Bohr for the Marlins. Nice, that's a great autograph and a great picture. That goes to Dustin Hughes and the Fish, the Marlins.
Cano. And we got a Whit Merrifield for the Royals. Cool Whit. Oh, Marinado Red. The Red Foils, I think, are the most, most common. Sorry, some of these are right side up and upside down. It's kind of hard to get them. And the next autograph is, who are you? For the Cardinals. Bravik Valera. Rookie auto for the Cardinals. That'll go to Dustin with the Redbirds. Gavin asking again, what's the case hit like in this? And I'll tell you again, Gavin that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the case it looks like. What's the case it's supposed to be? Is there even a case hit in this? Someone with that info, let me know. Confirm or deny. Didn't like that picture, that Astros picture. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. So gold minted chrome cards and members only. There's like a members only base card that's only one per case. I see. I don't recall seeing any of those yet. So that's according to Beckett. All right. Does Beckett does Beckett have pictures? of it, of what it's supposed to look like. I have a, I have a Polaroid camera-like memory, Polaroid photographic memory. I'll kind of remember it. Sometimes it'll smear, but once I take one look at it, I'll get a pseudo memory of it. All right. Next box. Good luck. And we've got an autograph already. Thomas Nito. Tomas or Thomas? That goes to the Metropolitans. That'll be for Dustin. Look at this oversized glove. That is one of the greatest pictures I've ever seen. That's hilarious. There's Julio Urias, who I think is starting to do maybe some bullpen sessions, so he might be coming back around soon. Be good for the Dodgers. Aaron Judge Orange. 29 out of 50. Nice. That goes to the Bronx Bombers, Dustin Hughes. Special Forces Otani. There he is at the press conference. Goldschmidt Red Foil. Fuck, he's 2 nothing. Dodgers still have time. 
Pools has kind of turned back the clock a little bit this year, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, he lost a lot of weight in spring training, coming into spring training, and it was just like, yeah. Healthy, he wants he wanted to play uh, play first base. They let him. He's doing all right. Cameron may have been black foil. And Troy Scribner for the Angels for the Angels. That'll go to Dustin, I think. Yeah, Dustin with the Angels. Nice Hank Aaron. <laughs> this is great. All right. Like I said, the photography in the stadium club is fantastic. All right, good luck, everyone. Last box. And we'll be diving into a fresh case of Museum Collection Baseball. We'll do the first half of that case. And I think we'll still have time to try to knock out the second half of the case and then give away a little break credit if you'd like, ladies and gentlemen. So give it a shot. Give it a go. Brand new release today. And a lot of other things on the website, too. We've got a few breaks to fill. We've got time to do it if you want to hustle at it, if you want to dig deep. But we've got time to fill four other breaks that are in various stages of completion. And then you could try to chase some break credits tonight. Details are on the website, jaspieshobbyland.com. Giving away break credit in that museum collection break, too. Got to buy the same team in both halves of the case. All the details are on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's save that Otani. All of these have a little extra value, so we want to set them aside. All right. Good luck. Aha, nice Daniel Anderson. That Pedroia glove, that oversized Pedroia glove. He was just like, hey, Daniel Anderson was like, hey, wasn't that the glove they tried to give Bill Buckner the season after the uh, World Series blunder? I think so. Try this one, Bill. <laughs> and we've got Ahmed Rosario for the Metropolitans. That's another Met for Dustin Hughes. There's Bo Jackson there. Alex Mejia. Should be expecting one more auto out of this box. Francisco Rafael Devers Dream Team Red Foil. I thought that would be numbered, but it's not. But let's sleeve it. Just in case. It's a special. Don Manningly, the black foil right there. Hideki Matsui. And the other autograph is Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins, who I think has been starting. I saw him in the start recently. He goes to uh, Dustin Hughes and the Marlins. And that's that, folks. That's your second on-card autograph. Let's see if there's any shorter printed parallels here. There's Francisco Mejia, Cal Ripken Jr., Manny Machado, Power Zone, and then there's Matsui and Ian Happ to close things out. And there you have it, boys and girls. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was a nice stadium club break. Uh, there's another four boxes from the same case in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out, and we will break with you next time. Bye-bye.